<sighs> What's good, folks? Uh, getting back at y'all, man. I forgot to mention something very important, okay? In regards to the children, all right? Now, y'all know I like to connect the dots, right? I like connecting dots that would not otherwise be connected without people who are of uh, independent mind and independent thought, okay? So, last week, two former senators were murdered within two days of each other, all right? They were 500 miles apart when this happened. These killings happened 500 miles apart. One senator um, was killed, I think his name was Jack or Jake, no, something Nicholas, I forgot his last name, or his first name. But he's a former senator out of Oklahoma, okay? And he was shot, he was shot dead, okay? And another former senator, uh, shoot, um, Linda Sarah Collins, I think her name is, Linda Sarah Collins was killed 500 miles away from him within two days, okay? Now, guess where she's from? Guess where she's from? She is from Arkansas, okay? Who else is from Arkansas? The Clintons, okay? The Clintons are from Arkansas. She's from Arkansas. Now, I have it on good authority that they were both investigating the child sex trafficking ring, okay? They were both investigating the child sex trafficking ring to some degree, and now they're both dead, okay? Within two days of each other. Not only that, guess who else died? Guess who else died? What was it? Well... Hillary Rodham, Clinton's brother, Tony Rodham, all right? He died uh, recently as well. And I'm not too sure about this, but I hear that he might have been having to, uh, to testify or to, 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 yeah, to testify. He was being questioned uh, for an investigation and now he's dead, all right? So what we have... I believe is the noose tightening around these uh, elite sex traffickers, okay? This elite sex trafficking ring that I believe, or allegedly, not even alleged because they haven't been accused of it. Or, you know, you know what? It is what it is. There may be some connection with between the Clintons and child sex trafficking. As a matter of fact, one of their friends was arrested as a part of Pizzagate. Okay, she was instrumental in bringing girls into the sex trafficking ring, and she was thusly arrested. She was on that show, uh, Smallville, was that Superman show. I forgot her name, but y'all know what I'm talking about, all right? The noose is tightening on these elite sex traffickers, and uh, yeah people are dying okay people are dying now i don't know how wise it is for me <laughs> to put this shit this information out here but it is what it is um i'm going to fight for the children to the bitter, bitter end and if i have to put people on blast if i have to put certain agendas on blast to help protect the children to bring awareness and look you guys we need to keep a better eye on our children point blank period we I mean listen it's very important the minute we take our eyes off our children that could be it it's not like when I was a kid in the 80s and 90s okay when I could roam the streets at 10 or 11 years old all by myself going to my friend's house you know there were kidnappers out there you know but it's not near the degree that it is now this shit is ramping up children are coming up missing by the thousands a month and all we're seeing 
is shit on, on you know what I mean? We, we Listen, all these cameras they got going on, all these cameras all over the place, and these metropolises, LA, New York, Chicago, DC, all these cameras, and we don't get to see no footage of the people snatching these kids up. We don't get to see the footage of the license plate numbers. We get Amber Alerts with license plate numbers on it. But by the time we get that Amber Alert, shit, the, the, the person who kidnapped the kid is probably halfway gone by then. What, what good is that doing us? No, we need to be more proactive. We need to be more protective of our children. That's just a fact. We can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's sad to say it, you know, it, it, we can't just let our children out of our sight. Even going to school, even dropping our kids off at school. You know, we take our kids to school, we trust our kids with strangers, you know, uh, eight hours out of the day while we're doing what we got to do. And that's dangerous, y'all. That's dangerous. I don't, um, and that's why I homeschool my children. That's why I homeschool my children. I mean, that, that, well, that's just one reason. That's one reason my children are homeschooled. All right. And some of us, you know, we might have to make that hard sacrifice. You know, we might have to make that sacrifice. The ultimate sacrifice, which will ultimately be the best thing that you could ever do in your life is to get away from the cities, go off to some rural land, buy some land somewhere, and live off the land that you build on. And your children can learn about the better things in life. They can learn about nature. They can learn about growing. They can learn about raising animals. They can learn about building. Buy you two or three acres somewhere, somewhere cheap, in some cheap place or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Build a storm shelter because, you know, in all likelihood, that land might be a tornado alley. You know, you just prepare for certain things. I mean, the, 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 hard, the world is going to bring hard shit to you. And you got to prepare for it in any way possible. Um, right now, they're talking about how the Midwest is being inundated with flood, water, and all that stuff. And that's very well true. And this, this is being engineered. <laughs> Those floods are being engineered. Hundreds of freaking tornadoes a day. But, you know, I mean, that's part of uh, the climate down there. In regards to the children, back to the children. Perhaps the best thing we can do for our children is keep them isolated from society. <laughs> until, until society gets they fucking act together. All right? Until society gets their act together, the best thing that you could probably do for your children is get them away from society. Because society can be the death of your children. And I, I'm no, I don't just mean the physical death. I don't mean the final death. I'm talking about the death of, you know, intuition. The death of common sense. The death of logic. Because everything right now, our children are programmed to behave and to act off of emotion. Do you understand? Our children, even though they're emotional beings, which is the beautiful, it's beautiful that our children are emotional, right? Because it, it, it's just in their nurturing spirit. They, they haven't learned how to be completely logical yet. But now it's up to us to mold them and shape them right now to be logical and compassionate. See, there's a difference between being indifferent and sociopathic and there's a difference between being those, one of those two things and being logical and compassionate at the same time. It's very possible to be logical and compassionate. What you don't want is to be driven by emotion. When you're driven by emotion, you're breaking the, you're breaking beyond you're going beyond compassion into irrational emotional behavior all right see being compassionate and logical means that you consider all the angles all right 
while still considering the people you're dealing with. See, we can expect or demand that other people are as logical as us, right? If you're a logical being and you're rational and you like to think about things and all that, you can't expect everyone to think like you, all right? That's where the compassion comes in. You have to be able to reach people with compassion and logic. You bring that logic to them compassionately, you understand where they're coming from. Like, look, I understand, you know, she doesn't understand what I'm, what I'm talking about right now. So let me break it down to her this way. And it's not being fake. What you're doing is you're, is you're meeting them where they're at. You're meeting them where they are so that you can bring them up to where you are. All right? You can't expect people to go where you are. If you are on one level, if you are, are on, a, on a level above someone else in regards to thinking logically and critical thinking, you can't expect them to meet you where you are because they haven't reached that level yet. So sometimes you gotta come down and meet people where they are and be logical. Okay, you have to say, look, like I was I was talking to my wife yesterday and my sister about abortion, okay? And neither one of them believe in, neither one of them believe in getting abortions, right? For themselves. But they, 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 they believe in the woman's choice, right? Um, a woman's a woman's right to choose, and that was the basis of their argument. And I had to explain to them, like, look, you're not just choosing for yourself. If you're a woman who gets pregnant and you don't want to have the baby, well, and then you make a decision that will end the life of that child, even though it's in your womb, you're you're not just making a choice for yourself. You're not choosing for yourself you're choosing for that child as well you're choosing whether or not that child lives or dies so now it's beyond you there are two people to consider when people get pregnant that's just my belief you know you get that heartbeat and all that other stuff you know that, that I mean it's a living thing it's a living being the first thing that that grows you know uh, once that heart gets to beat you know what I'm saying and that brain starts to forming and which is almost dang near immediate, right? They can they can detect a heartbeat at like four or five weeks, you know? So in that regard, you are choosing, okay, I'm gonna end this baby's life. Now it's not, you're not choosing for yourself. It's not your body anymore. It's not just your body. It's the body of that child as well. You know, my sister said, oh, uh, well, I consider the baby to be a baby when they have a brain. And I'm like, well, the brain is forming. The brain is not completely developed until the until that child is like 20 some years old. So what are you saying? Like, okay, are you, when, when, when are you considering a brain to be a brain? When it starts to form or when it's finished forming? Because when the brain stops developing, they're in there going into adulthood when the brain starts stops developing okay so I mean and that's how you kind of have to explain to them like look the brain does not start stop forming until they're in their 20s so what are you saying and then you have to explain to them the slippery slope situation okay so you you, you say abortion is okay right well who decides when the baby is a baby who decides this who decides that who decides when it's okay how long it's okay to kill that baby. Like now in, in some states, they're talking about allowing you to have an abortion or killing the baby after the baby's born. That's what the slippery slope gets you. Anyway, y'all get what I'm saying. You have to meet people where they're at and you have to help elevate their thinking because otherwise, if you if you condescend and, 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 and pontificate to people about things all the time, it's just, it, it pisses them off, it's insulting. And that's one thing I have to learn about myself because I can get into that mode. I have to sometimes catch myself and be like, look, you know, not everyone thinks the same. Not everybody, you know, you know y'all get what I'm saying. And so 
that's just how you have to meet people and that's how that's how the world becomes a better place in my mind when everyone and you're not gonna get everybody right when the majority of people on this earth all you need is 60 percent when 60 percent of the people on this earth start to think critically then we're going somewhere now, then we're going somewhere um but yeah yeah I'm, I'm 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 going off on a tangent but you know uh this is what i'm on so look two senators dying within two days of each other 500 miles apart okay both investigating child sex trafficking rings okay let me explain to y'all how intricate and how complicated and how complex this sex trafficking web is is so intricate that you know the people they're everywhere okay these people are everywhere they're your neighbors they are your school teachers they are your police officers as a matter of fact uh this one police officer in illinois got caught sex you know uh uh, you know, uh, pedophiling a 15 year old child. Okay. They're everywhere. And now she may or may not have been part of, of a sex trafficking ring, but don't be surprised if they find some child pornography that he's been sending off to people. To me, that's part of the sex trafficking ring. When you're sending off child pornography and you're sharing that shit and you're selling it on the black market or you're selling it on the dark web, you are then, uh, you know, that, that's sex trafficking, period. So we we have to make those distinctions, y'all. There can't be any in, in, ambiguities uh, ambiguities about what pedophilia and sex trafficking is. We have to make it very distinct because, you know, now they're forming loopholes and they're trying to create nuances that don't exist. Look. I don't need four different categories of of child molesters. Okay, I don't need uh, baby o files and uh, 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 toddler files and all that shit. You know, I, they have a category for uh, preteens and you know uh, infant infants and and, the, and young adults. No, we don't need all those distinct. We don't need all those different things. No. We don't need degrees, okay? It's either you're a pedophile or you're not, all right? Same punishment should happen for a 30-year-old man trying uh, sleeping with a 15, 16-year-old girl. The same punishment should apply to him as it applies to a 30-year-old man <laughs> molesting uh, a, a, a two or three-year-old. There shouldn't be any distinction, and this is what they're trying to do. They're doing this age bullshit right they're trying to lower the age of consent you know they're trying to do this they're trying to do that we need to make it very clear what the age is we need to make it very clear that you know uh this child isn't isn't mature enough for you this child is what much too impressionable this child has not lived enough of life yet for your grown ass to be messing with him you understand what I'm saying? And if you're 30 or 28 or 25 and you have the mental capacity and the mental development of a 16 year old and you're not, you don't have a learning disability, you just want to be stupid for, all, for the rest, or you don't want to grow up. Well, guess what? That doesn't save you. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't save you. You're a functioning adult. You should be. A, you should be mature. I don't care how mature you are. You know. I don't care if you're an immature 25 year old. You better grow your ass up and find your grown woman. Maybe that's what you need to grow up. Anyway, y'all, 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 y'all know. I'm, I'm all about the children. <clears throat> I'm all about the kitties because you know my children have to grow up in this world, and so. I need to make it 
as safe for them as possible. You know, and, and, and I'm not delusional enough to think that we can live in some utopian world where everybody's getting along and there's world peace. No, I'm not delusional enough to think that. But I do want them to be equipped. I want to eliminate as many unnecessary obstacles as possible. You know what an unnecessary obstacle is? A gay pride parade. That's unnecessary. But do you know what a necessary obstacle is? You know, do you know what an, a necessary obstacle might be? A necessary obstacle might be that, you know, there's an earthquake and you have to kick it in the gear to survive. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, uh, you get into a fight or someone attacks you and you have to defend yourself and you come out on top. Those are necessary obstacles. Problem solving. You know what I'm saying? You're learning how to build and you don't have the right material or you, your structure fell over and, and now you have to start over again. Those are necessary obstacles. Gay pride parades are not a necessary obstacle. Sex traffickers are not necessary obstacles. Child molesters are not necessary obstacles. Those obstacles need to be eliminated as soon as possible. And let me tell y'all, man, I got people, listen, let me, let me tell y'all, the people that I know, you know, they got this, uh, I forgot what state it is, but in this one state, a senator is introducing, trying to introduce a bill that would castrate a child molester that creates a victim that is like 15 years or younger, okay? It's very specific. It's not just a child, it's not just a sex offender, right? The sex offender, you know, you piss on the side, you piss on the, in the tree, you know, in the woods, they can say you're a, a, a sex offender. No, no, I'm not, they're not talking about that. It's very specific. It has to be a sexual assault or a sexual, you know, a, a rape, a, a molestation of a child 15 years or younger, okay? That's what it is. And I'm like, yeah, let's make that happen. But, you know, I got some people on my Facebook page talking about some old, oh, I see that as a as a way to target black, more black people. You know, this and the third. Like, look, look, see this? <laughs> Who, where did they get that from? Where did they get that from? Where did they get that from? Do you know how much trouble it would go, they would they would have to go through? First of all, they had to find a victim that is 15 years or younger. Okay. They would have to find a victim that is 15 years or younger. They're not just, it's not just, you know, oh, I pissed on a tree. And so now I'm getting castrated. No, 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 no. Chemically castrated, by the way. No. It's very specific. There has to be a victim, a child. So that means if they want to set your ass up, they got to find a 15-year-old child or younger to say that you did that to them. I don't think that that's, uh, I, no, no. See, we have to stop with this whole, oh, you know, oh, they doing everything to attack the black man. No, 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 no. Sometimes we need harsh punishment for, for people like that. I don't think that that's what this, what this bill is about. I don't think this bill is about going after black men. I don't think that, you know. Now, if you would have told me that a couple years ago, I might halfway agree with you. But I would still have to think, look, there there needs to be a victim. There needs to be a physical victim that can point you out in the courtroom and say, yes, that person did this and they have to be believable. OK, and their parents have to be a part of it. OK, so, it, it, you know, it's, it's going to be hard. Like, I, I, I agree with the bill. I'm behind the bill. Let's do it. You know. It's not arbitrary. They're talking about children, okay? They're talking about actual sexual abuse of children, okay? Not pissing on a tree, not jacking off in a movie theater. No, not, none of that. They're not talking about, you know, uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, no. They're not talking about that. They're talking about very specific things, okay? Now, I agree with this bill. Like I said, yo, I agree with the bill. We, we need to make something like that happen because we need something 
to make these motherfuckers pause, okay? Get, give them something to think about. When they want to go ahead and act on their nasty desires, give them something to think about. Like, whoa, whoa, well, if I do this, I could be chemically castrated and I won't want to do it to nobody ever again. Granted, chemical castrations aren't necessarily a permanent thing. Like, it doesn't always, it's not always 100%, but I don't know if you, I don't know if you could just go around cutting, cutting penises off. I mean, I would, I, hey, in a society that, that in a perfect society, you get caught uh, with a child, you might not even survive to be castrated in a perfect world. You know, if you're caught and it's a definite, you know, there's mad evidence against you, you know what I'm saying? And you're guilty. If we know you're guilty, why, 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 why even make it to castration? <laughs> you know? Anyway, I was this, this this went a little longer than I wanted it to, but it's all good. Y'all get what I'm getting at. All right. Anyway, like this video, share, subscribe. Two senators, two former senators, who are investigating child sex trafficking rings, killed last week within two days of each other. Tony Rodham's brother or Tony Rodham, Hillary's brother, dead. Um, he may or may not have been set to testify or set to be a witness or set to do something in regards to this uh, Pizzagate sex trafficking ring thing. So, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Um, and, you know, just putting this stuff out here. Putting this stuff out there, y'all, I mean, listen. I'm making myself a target. You know, I'm, I'm I'm small fish right now. I'm small fry. So, I don't think they have my eye on me yet. They eye on me yet. But, you know, one, <laughs> if I start gaining some ground, I don't know, y'all. We'll see. But, hey, it is what it is. I will always be there to protect my children. And, uh, you know, and, you know, somebody come after me, it might not be that easy, you know. That's all I got to say about it may not be as easy as they might think. That's all I'm saying. So that's all I'm saying. So anyway. Share, like, subscribe. Make sure y'all check into that. You know, don't take my word for this stuff. Every time I bring y'all this type of information, I want y'all, if you're interested in it, you know, look into it as well. You know, let's all get behind this stuff. Let's all throw our hat in the ring let's all let's show them that we're all <laughs> very very invested in the safety of our children and there's shit we won't tolerate and that'll keep people like me who are spreading this message or putting this shit out there people like me who get certain information and puts that out there like for, for on the airwaves to the public a little safer you know what i'm saying so, yeah. Anyway, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.